Welcome to the weekly weather briefing. Today is Tuesday, January 22nd, and we are starting off this week with some active weather. Um, we're dealing with uh, a winter storm system that is entering our region as we speak. We're going to be expecting some moderate to heavy amounts of mountain snow, some valley snow that will transition to rain in many areas and some gusty winds in the Cascades. Uh, we're watching this storm system right now uh, moving into the area. It will affect the region overnight into Wednesday. And then it should be exiting late Wednesday and by Wednesday night through the rest of the week and into the weekend, the weather's going to be a lot calmer. Uh, we're going to have high pressure building into the region. We'll be seeing some on and off scattered mountain snow showers with some occasional winds, especially Friday and late Sunday. Otherwise, it'll be mostly dry with some patchy fog and lighter winds. So currently, this is the map of our weather highlights across the region. The areas colored in pink are the winter storm warnings, where we're expecting the heaviest amounts of mountain snow. So from the mountains in northeast Washington and across the Idaho panhandle, they're going to get the brunt of the uh, heavy mountain snow. Uh, areas in purple are the winter weather advisories, so lighter amounts of, of snow in the valleys and in the mountains. Um, and the area marked in the yellow color would be the high wind warning. Uh, we have uh, talked with the Pendleton office and uh, opted to confine the area of the highest winds down across the southern Cascades. So here is an overview of a weather satellite image from about midday and it highlights an area of high pressure that is off the west coast and that feature is going to move very little through the week. Currently we're seeing a lot of moisture and a low pressure system that is tracking up and over this ridge and will be sliding across the inland northwest overnight into Wednesday and it's in that northwest flow aloft that's going to be bringing all of that energy and moisture and bringing our snow to the region. Region. Um, once that feature passes by, we're going to see that high area of high pressure intensify and maybe move slightly inland. Um, we may see a couple more little ripples moving through that flow through the week, but primarily that area of high pressure is going to stay put. So for this current system that we are going to be uh, seeing move through the region the next 24 to 36 hours, here is our map of our forecast storm total snow. Uh, we updated it a little bit from this morning, but the, there was just minor changes. So we're going to see a lot of snow in the northeast Washington uh, mountains and the Panhandle Mountains, they're going to see the brunt of it, along with near the crest. A lot of it's going to be on the Seattle side, but right near the crest they're going to be seeing some uh, good amounts of snow as well. Um, lighter snows in the valleys of the Cascades, um, and then we see those snow amounts steadily increase once we get from Colville to Spokane to Pullman and points eastward. So we'll be seeing that precipitation increasing uh, later this afternoon and early evening, and it's going to continue through the night. As for the winds, we're expecting the winds to pick up on the back side of this uh, low pressure system, this storm system, late tonight into Wednesday morning. And we highlighted the areas of the peak winds, uh, primarily across the Columbia Basin, uh, Spokane area, the Palouse. We're going to see from 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. The highest gusts are going to be across the Cascades on those exposed ridges that we could see maybe about 50 miles an hour, but the, the, the better area is going to be down across those southern Cascades south of Yakima that are going to experience those stronger winds. Now as that system exits late Wednesday, Wednesday night, um, through the rest of the week, we're going to see that area of high pressure um, giving us uh, some more benign weather. So we're expecting some lighter winds, 
patchy fog low clouds. Uh, in the mountains, we're going to see a couple little ripples rotate. Uh, kind of rippling through, giving us those scattered mountain showers, some, some breezy winds, especially in the Cascades and the Panhandle Mountains. Um, the ones on Sunday, we are going to be expecting maybe a, a bigger push of winds that will reach down in the valleys and the basin, so we'll be expecting those winds to pick up at that time. Here is a look of uh, temperatures for this week. Um, just taking a look at uh, Spokane, we're going to be starting off in the mid to upper 30s and it's really not going to change a whole much through the week, which is pretty close to the near seasonal normals. Um, as we get toward a Sunday night into Monday with that northerly push, we may be seeing the temperatures taking a little bit uh, of a dip with cooler cooler readings by then. And we see that similar trend in Sandpoint and Wenatchee and Lewiston, um, kind of steady near seasonal temperatures as we go through the week and not much of the way of precipitation after Wednesday. Here's a overview of the current snow water equivalent for the mountains across the Pacific Northwest and looks like things are, are holding well despite our weak winter systems that have been passing through. Our mountains have been holding on to that snow. So we're seeing uh, snow percentages of, of the water equivalent 85 to 95 percent of normal which is looking really good for um, late January. And then um, as we look at uh, the outlook for the next 8 to 14 days, our temperatures are going to be trending on the cooler side um, as we move into early February and precipitation chances are going to stay near normal, maybe slightly above normal as we go through the, the end of the month, which will allow us to hold on to that mountain snow even longer and we'll take any little bits that we can. Um, I wanted to highlight the, the Midwest, they're going to be under the gun for the colder temperatures even for the end of the month. So I want to thank you for joining us. Um, remember, keep track of the updated forecasts at weather.gov slash Spokane and watch us on social media. But otherwise, thanks for joining us.